All right, I'm gonna test this SIG Elite Performance V Crown 380 ACP today. Where's the info on these? Well, I'll show you the bullet real quick. So obviously hollow points there. 90 grain jacketed hollow point. They are advertising 980 feet per second, 192 foot pounds. I'm gonna use my Ruger LCP Max. It's got a 2.75 inch barrel. Obviously with longer barrels, you will get a little bit higher velocity and potentially better performance depending on how it performs today. We're gonna do bare block and then also four layers of denim as a worst case scenario. This is Knox 10% ballistics gelatin. About to do the calibration, see where it comes in today. And as you can see there, BB calibration just over three inches, so we are golden. So I'll get you guys set up down there, we'll get started. As I said, first we'll fire into it just the bare block and then I'll put four layers of denim in front of it as a worst case scenario. If you guys have seen my past uh, centerfire pistol gel test, typically I'll have the chrono set up in front of it there, but my chrono has finally died on me. Debating whether or not to replace it at some point, uh, but ultimately it doesn't really matter whatever number the chrono reads, what matters is the performance on the block, so. All right, pretty well center hit there, right where I wanted it. There's your entry. It's gonna be about 13 inches. We'll get a measurement on it, of course, for you by the end of the video. And it does look like we have expansion, not magnificent expansion, but some. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna fare too well through the denim. Uh, take that as you may, again, um, Without the sake of entering into the argument for the thousandth time, it's just basically four layers of denim is worst case scenario. Which unfortunately, most 380 rounds do not perform very well through, although I have seen plenty of 9, 40, 45 um, expand beautifully through four layers of denim. All right, yep, I can already tell. We got way, way, way further expansion, or excuse me, penetration, which mean we got way less to no expansion through the denim there's our entry there wound channel there she sets oh it's kind of hard to see yeah it looks like zero expansion just as i expected again denim especially with the 380 worst case scenario but you'd be surprised i've actually tested a few 380s that do at least make an attempt to open up through the denim it doesn't look like this one did all right, so penetration on the bare block shot coming in about, depends on how I hold the camera here, but about um, 12 and three quarters of an inch. Let's see here. Okay, they were at about 19 inches on the one through the four layers of denim. All right, so those are recovered bullets. Obviously, this is the one that went through the bare block. Really beautiful uh, uniform expansion there. Not real wide, but it's pretty nice and uniform. Did its job there through bare gel. And then uh, here's the one through the dip. <laughs> Zero expansion, um, not surprised. We get a overall uh, expansion diameter on that one, retained weight on both. Although you know what the retained weight is on that one at least. All right, expansion there. Coming in at .508, so 50 caliber, almost 51 caliber. Retained weight, 90.4 grains. What were those, 90? So it probably got a little bit of... Well, I did a pretty good job picking the gel out there, so... 90.3. And then... That one's coming right in at 90. So, yeah, they must have a few specks of gel in there. Making it come a few tenths higher there. So, 100% weight retention on that. We're flicking a little bit because of the wind. It's a reloader scale, so it's real, uh, real sensitive. But anyways, we definitely got 100% weight retention there, even on the expanded one. If you guys want to get yourself one of these little scales or a micrometer like that, link in the description. Also got my Nox mix in there as well. If you want to make yourself up a batch. All right, overall, that's actually pretty good performance uh, for a 380, especially considering we shot it out of this little micro compact LCP Max here. So not only did it. Uh, meet the FBI minimum requirement of 12 inches of penetration. We got 13 something uh, But it did fully expand there at least on the bare block and that is a lot better 
than what can be said for a lot of other 380 loads. So this is actually a pretty decent one. Unfortunately, we didn't get any expansion through the denim. Um, I've seen plenty of 380 loads through this exact gun and guns like that um, fail to get expansion even through the bare block. So the fact that this got good expansion through the bare block and through such a short barrel, that makes it actually a pretty good load for a 380. But that'll do it for this one. Appreciate you guys watching. Up next, the next 380 gel test you'll see will be those HSTs right there, 99 grain.